Hi, my name is Kathy Morris, Curator of Decorative Arts at the Clark, and today I'd like to share some thoughts about this striking piece of porcelain from our collection, which we informally call the Bug Plate. It was made in Europe in the early 1840s. Before talking about the plate itself, I'd like to take a moment to think about two of its primary characteristics, the porcelain and the depiction of insects. Porcelain was first imported to Europe from Asia in the 14th century. Europeans were struck by the beauty and delicacy of these works, which were thin enough for the light to shine through and characterized by a pure white glossy surface with delicate decoration, such as in this 18th century tea bowl made in China. A thin, lightweight bowl like this could withstand boiling hot water without cracking or breaking. We think of porcelain as an everyday material, but back then it was a revelation and exceedingly rare. Artisans and scientists in Europe embarked on a race to discover the ingredients and techniques that would duplicate this Asian porcelain. In 1709, the Meissen factory in Dresden, Germany, first discovered the right formula, which was known as hard paste, and kept it a tight secret. For the next 50 or 60 years, Without knowledge of the right combination of ingredients, most manufactories elsewhere in Europe could make only a kind of porcelain known as soft paste, which was not as bright white or as hard and durable, though it had its own appeal and became very popular as well. Both hard paste and soft paste porcelain were considered luxury objects in 18th century Europe. More and more factories opened to meet an increasing demand and artisans developed specialized skills including painting the decoration with enamel pigments and gold that fused to the porcelain during firings in a kiln. Making porcelain involved significant investments in scientific experimentation to develop and improve the material itself and to figure out how to attain different colors and methods of decoration. Another branch of science at the time was devoted to identifying and classifying the mind-boggling variety of insects found in the world. Artists were employed to create detailed images of insects to record the most minute aspects of their appearance. Insects frequently appeared as decoration on porcelain, often created by the imagination of the painter with no correspondence to a specific species. But porcelain factories began keeping specimen boxes so their artists could copy specific insects with accuracy. The painter of the Clark's bug plate, Johann Zacharias Quast, specialized in the depiction of highly realistic insects on porcelain. He painted the Clark's hard paste plate for the Lippert and Haas factory in Bohemia, now part of the Czech Republic. The Clark's plate is signed at the top along with the notation that it was painted from nature. Quast painted many different types of insects on this plate in meticulous detail. Butterflies, moths, beetles, bees, flies, and a spider, each with a finely painted cast shadow. It may seem unappetizing to eat off a plate covered with bugs, but these plates by Quast were probably not meant to be used in a conventional way, rather to be displayed as tour de force of illusionistic painting on porcelain.